What is up you guys? Welcome back again to my channel. For today's lesson, ay third quarter na tayo. O diba, ang line na narating natin. Tapos na tayo sa first quarter, sa second quarter, and ngayon naman is third quarter. So, yung third quarter ng grade 7 mathematics ay all about geometry. So, ano nga ba yung geometry? Geometry came from the two Greek words. The first one is geo, which means earth, and then metron, which is measure. So, in other words, geometry is earth's measure. Sino nga ba ang father of modern geometry? Siya ay si Euclid. Kaya, meron din po tayo tinatawag na Euclidean geometry. So much for the introduction ng geometry, pumunta na tayo sa lesson natin. So, for the first week ng third quarter, meron tayong tatlong lessons. Lesson 1 will be the undefined terms of geometry. Second lesson will be subsets of a line. And then, third lesson is kinds of angles. Ano pa nga bang inaantay natin? Pumunta na tayo sa lesson number 1. Lesson number 1 is the undefined terms of geometry. So, ano nga ba yung tatlong undefined terms? They are point, line, and then plane. Itong mga undefined terms na to ay walang definition. Kaya nga undefined. Pero pwede natin silang i-describe. And, mahalaga po yung tatlong undefined terms ng geometry. Because, gagamitin po natin sila sa pag-define ng mga iba pang geometric terms. So, punta na tayo sa first undefined term. Yun ay ang point. So, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, hindi wala po silang definition, pero pwede po natin i-describe. So, the first description will be, it is a position in space. The second one will be, it has no dimension. Meaning, wala siyang length, walang haba, wala siyang width, or walang lapad, and then, wala rin siyang thickness. The third description would be, it has no area or it does not occupy an area. So, ano nga ba representation ng point? Yun ay ang dot. And then, paano tayo nagpapangalan ng point? So, we use capital letters or yung malalaking letra sa pagpapangalan ng point. So, for example, we have point A in symbol Ayan. So, kailangan merong dot and then the capital letter kung ano po yung pangalan ng point. So, meron ba tayong nakikita in real life na mga examples or pwede nating i-represent as point? Meron po. So, if you will look closely sa inyo pong face, if you will look at the mirror, meron po kayong makikita mga point po sa ating face. So, for example, May iris or even may pupil. Yan. Yan po ay example ng point. What else? Yung tip ng nose. That is also an example of point. What else? If you have a mole or meron po, tayong, meron po kayong nunal, yan rin po ay example ng point. So, for example, if we will look at... Um, Nam June's face, yan, kung makikita po ninyo, yan, pakita ko dyan. So, meron po siyang dimple, nakita nyo po. So, yan po, example rin po ng point. Yan, so napakarami po mga examples ng point. So, kung meron po po kayong naisip, comment down below. So, tapos na tayo sa point, doon na tayo sa pangalawang undefined term, yun ay ang line. So, yung line... Also has no definition kasi nga undefined terms. So, ano ba yung description niya? So, ang description po ng line is, it is a set of points that extends infinitely in opposite directions. So, yan po yung example. Ayan. So, we can represent a line using this one. So, kung may kita po ninyo, meron pong dalawang arrowheads. And yung dalawang arrowheads na yun is opposite with each other. So, meaning, it extends infinitely in opposite directions. So, there are two ways in naming a line. 
So, the first one will be, um, kukuha lang po tayo ng any two points sa line. So, for example, here, we have infinite number of points, di ba po? Pero, kukuha lang po tayo ng dalawang point. So, for example, here, I will name this line, line AB. Yan, because yung AB po na yun, yung point A tsaka point B ay nasa line. So, I'll name this line AB. So, what else? Pwede rin pong line CD or line AC and so on. So, napakarami pong ways to name this line. Pero, we are still pertaining with the same line. The second way para magpangalan ng line is kung meron pong small cursive na letter na malapit sa line. For example, this one. So, we have line M. So, the name of this line is line M. Because yung M, yung small letter na M ay malapit po sa line. So, there are times na dalawa po yung present. Ibig sabihin, merong points or meron din po small letter na malapit. So, kahit ano po yung dun sa way na tinuro ko sa inyo, pwede nyo pong gawin to name that line. For example, this one. So, we can... Say that this is line M and also line AB. So, ano ba yung mga real-life representation ng line? So, for example, is, yan kung titignan po natin sa aking face, so, yan po ay line, yung aking pong kilay. Also, yung aking bland na buhok, yung mga hair strand ko po, ay uh, example din po ng line. Ayan. So, punta naman tayo kay Jimmy. Siyempre, i-bias ko si Jimmy. So, kung makikita po ninyo yung kanyang hinliit or yung pinky niya. Ayan. Kahit maliit yung pinky finger niya. Ayan, yung gilid po niyan. Ayan, yung gilid po nun ay line. What else? And kung lalakad naman po tayo sa kalsada, meron po tayo nakitang mga pedestrian lane. So, yung mga linya po na yun ay example po ng line. What else? Kung titingin naman po tayo sa, sa bahay natin, syempre, bago pa tayo lumabas ngayon. So, kung may kita po ninyo, meron pong mga wires. Okay? So, yung mga wire po ay also an example of line. So, punta naman tayo sa pangatlong undefined term. Yun na ang plane. So, ano ba description ng plane? Ang plane is a set of points contained in a flat surface and extends indefinitely in all directions. So, ito po yung symbol for plane. So, there are two ways to name a plane. The first one is, kung meron pong point or letter na malapit po sa corner nung plane. So, for example, this one, plane E. So, this is named as plane E. So, the second way to name a plane is by using the points of the plane. So, for example, this one. Ayan. So, meron pong three points. Nakita pa natin, meron po tatlong capital letter. So, this is called plane ABC. And then, ito naman po, four po yung points. So, pangalan naman po natin siyang plane ABCD. Ayan. So, Siyempre, meron din po tayong pwedeng maisip na real-life representation ng plane. So, first one is, yan, nakikita nyo naman po siguro, yung aking pong background, yung wall. Ayan. So, this wall is an example of plane. What else? Yan. Yung aking pong forehead, yan, na medyo malapad. Ayan. So, this is also an example of plane. Ayan. So, Tingin naman po tayo sa ilalim. Ayan, kung nakikita nyo po. Siyempre, hindi nyo makikita. Pero, tingin kayo sa ilalim ninyo. Ayan, makikita nyo po yung sahig. So, yung floor is also an example of plane. What else? Ayan, tingin naman tayo sa taas. Ayan, tingin kayo sa taas. Ayan, hindi yan langit ha. Kisame. So, yung kisame po natin sa bahay or yung ceiling is also an example of plane. What else? Kanina nabanggit ko na. Yung tabletop. Yung ibabaw po ng table. Yan. That is also an example of a plane. 
what else? Yung mismo pong cellphone or yung screen po ng cellphone nyo or yung screen ng tablet or yung screen ng TV. That is also an example of playing. So, let's answer this activity. Tell whether each of the following represent a point, line, or a plane. So, let's try. Number one, curtain rod. Yan. So, yun po yung pinaglalagin po ng cortina. Doon po pinapasok yung sa cortina para masabit po natin. So, that is an example of a line. Okay, let's have number two. Side of the tabletop. So, ibabaw po nung table, yung side po nun, is an example of a line. And then, number three, blanket. Or yung kumot. So, ano po yun? That is a plane. Yan. Could be a representation of a plane. And then, number four, a knot on a piece of thread. Okay, so, pag nagbubuhol po tayo ng sinulid, yung nabubuo po doon, pag po nabuhol, is an example of point. And then, last is guitar string. So, syempre, kailangan maglalaki ako ng guitar string dyan. Kasi love ko yung guitar. So, that is an example of a line. So, the second activity will be Using the figure below, ito po yung figure, name all the points, lines, and planes. So, ano na ba yung mga points po na nakikita natin? So, we have A, B, C, and D. So, sulat natin dito, point A, point B, point C, and then point D. Now, let's have the lines. So, meron pong apat na lines. So, taas po muna. Line AB or line BA. Pares lang po yun. And then, this one, line DC or CD. Pares lang po yun. And then, line AD. And then, last is line BC or line CB. Pares lang po. And then, next, Plane naman po tayo. So, meron po ako nakitang isang plane lang po. Ito po. So, we have plane A, B, C, D. Make sure po na magkakasunod po. Consecutive po yung uh, points. Like, for example, here. A, B, and then sunod po dapat C, and then D. So, yan po yung example po ng uh, mga points, lines, and planes na present po sa figure na ito. So, meron din po tayong tinatawag na relationships between points, line, and plane. So, yung first one is collinear points. So, from the root word line, so, yung mga points daw po ay dapat on the same line. So, if we are pertaining with collinear points, all the points must, con must be contained in a single line. So, points A, B, and C are collinear points. Because they lie or they are all on the same line. So, the second relationship will be non-collinear points. So, kabalik taran lang po nung kanina yung collinear points in which all the points lie on the same line. Pag non-collinear naman, ito naman po ay not all the points are being contained on the same line. Or, points that do not lie on the same line. Yan, kabalik taran lang po kanina. So, for example, we have here, and so we have points A, B, C, and D. So, points A, B, C, and D are non-collinear points because they do not lie on the same line. Si A, B, and C po ay nasa isang linya, okay. Pero wala po tayong uh, drawing or magagawang line in which silang apat na points ay magiging isa lang pong linya. So, therefore, they are non-collinear points. And then, the third relationship will be coplanar points. So, meaning, all the points lie on the same plane. Meaning, lahat po 
na mga points ay naandun po sa plane. So, for example, we have here this one. So, we have plane ABCD. The points EFG are coplanar points because they are all on the same plane. The fourth relationship is non-coplanar points. So, when we say non-coplanar points, they are the points that do not lie on the same plane. Meaning, hindi po lahat sila ay nasa isang plane lang. For example, this one. So, we have plane EFGH. And then, meron pong points na nasa plane. Yun po ay ABC. Pero po si D ay nasa labas po ng plane. Meaning, points A, B, C, and D are non-coplanar points simply because wala po sila sa isang plane. Yun. So, yun po yung non-coplanar points. Yan. So, tapos na po tayo sa lesson 1. So, may challenge sa bawat isa ay sagutan po ito. Ayan. So, estudyante ko man kayo or hindi or uh, subscriber ko kayo na nanonood talaga sa mga lessons ko sa math. So, yan. Ito po yung challenge ko sa inyo. So, all you have to do is sabihin nyo lang po kung ano po yung nire-represent ng bawat bagay po na nandito. Whether they are point, line, or a plane. So, i-comment nyo lang po sa comment section, syempre, yung mga sagot ninyo. So, lahat po ng mga katama ay i-shoutout ko sa next video lesson ko. Yan. Para palakpakan naman natin yung mga nakinig talaga sa lesson at nakatama, nakakuha ng tamang sagot. So, that is all for today, guys. Salamat po sa panonood ng aking video. Sana po marami po kayong natutunan sa video lesson natin today. So, watch out lang po sa lesson 2 at sa lesson 3. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, nawa po, mag-subscribe po kayo sa channel ko kung marami po kayong natutunan ngayong araw na to. And also, click the notification bell para po ma-notify kayo sa mga susunod ko pang mga video lessons. So, that will be all for today, guys. Thank you po. Stay safe, everyone. And nawa po, matapos na po yung pandemic. Mag-pray lang po tayo. And so, God bless everybody. I'll see you again on my next vlog. Bye-bye!